morning. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020, and day five of specials. I hope everyone is having a terrific week. If you can now please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, if we could all please pause for a moment of mindfulness, and we're gonna focus on taking deep breaths during this mindful moment. We're gonna breathe in all things positive and good, and breathe out anything like negative thoughts or anxiety or worry that you don't want in your space. Thank you. Today's Thursday Tips comes from our science extraordinaire, Miss Wendy Sanders. Let's see what Miss Sanders has in store for us today. Hello there, students at E-Rivers. This is Mrs. Sanders here in the science lab. And this is my buddy, Fred. Fred, say hi to the kids. Hi kids, how you doing? <laughs> Fred's so nice. Okay, today I'm here to bring you your Thursday tip. And that tip is how to Build and erupt your very own model volcano. Okay, boys and girls, we're all set. We're gonna get all the ingredients we need to make our salt foam volcanoes. I have two different kinds here. The first thing you need, and my, my friend Fred's helping me. Hey, today. hands uh, off. The first thing you need is a full cup of flour. Put that in a bowl. The second thing you will need is a half a cup of salt. And then the third thing you need is a half a cup of water. And you just pour a little at a time. Try to get it uh, into a doughy consistency. You don't want to add all of it at first because we don't want it to be too wet. We want it to be like modeling clay, like Play-Doh. You mix it up. And you're knowing you're doing a good job if it's not too sticky, but it still it sticks together, but doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl. So this looks like it needs more water. I think I have the right amount. You mix it up. This looks great. And when it starts to stick together, kind of like cookie dough, then, this is the fun part, you get to scoop it out with your hands. Fred, are you helping? Why, well, yes. Can't you Let's tell? Here. I gotta get all that extra flour. Work it in. So the flour will not spoil with the water um, because we have salt in there. It helps preserve it. So this can stay out of the refrigerator for at least a week before you have to put it in a refrigerator. But you do have to keep it in a baggie so it doesn't dry out. When it dries out, it becomes solid. So then we get a big mound of salt dough. And that's when you can get a little container. Hey, watch the reach. Like a um, film canister or a small cup. And you make that the mouth of your volcano. And, this must be there, I will move it closer. You will form your volcano, you will just bake a big old mountain basically, which is what a volcano is, that actually has a vent into the mantle or the crust of the planet or the Earth's surface. So I just did a really quick version there. You can actually put food coloring like I did in this volcano dough, or you can wait for it to dry and paint it like I did here. So now there's a little cup in there, and I'm going to use that to put some cool things inside. Okay, boys and girls, once you make your salt dough, you need it to dry. So you want to make sure once you've formed it that you actually put it in the microwave for about, I don't know, two or three minutes and it'll bake the dough and make it hard. Or you can let it air dry for about a week. And once it's dry, you can um, paint it or if you put food coloring in the dough, it would already be a volcano looking color to make it look like more realistic. But now here comes the fun part. You wanna actually make it look like it's erupting, okay? Now, normally in a volcano, nothing is being poured in. It's all coming out from inside the earth. So what I'm gonna do though is kind of show the eruption part by putting in this substance called baking soda. I'm using a funnel, putting about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons, let's go for two. Why not, let's have fun, maybe two and a half. Let's go for it. Let's go for three. 
Okay, and then, I wanna make it more realistic, so let's put in some food coloring. I got some yellow food coloring and some red food coloring, so the two of those hopefully will make the orange color, like fire. Three, two, one, eruption! Oh, how cool, yeah! Awesome. But this is not destructive enough. I want to uh, do this, I wanna go out with a bang. a model, what it kind of looks like are the uh, force that it takes to look for a volcano to erupt and what it does to the land around it. We're gonna pretend that this is the top of our mountain, so we're gonna put this little canister inside and we're gonna put some, we're gonna cause a chemical reaction to occur in here where there's a great force and hopefully it'll explode the top off of, of the container and kind of like exploding, exploding the top off of a mountain and moving all that ton of rock and um, then after we will have the uh, magma coming up the vent and coming out as lava. So we're hoping to see all of that and what you do is you just pour about half a canister full of, of uh, vinegar too much, about half a half of a canister, maybe it's a bit more. Okay, and then this is a really quick reaction. I'm going to drop some Alka-Seltzer tabs in it, and these Alka-Seltzer tablets um, have a lot of this. They have the same uh, substance that baking powder does, so it's that same type of uh, bubbling up that occurs. Okay, that that chemical reaction, but we're going to contain it in here and build up a force. Okay, so we're going to make a destructive force here. Oh goodness. More vinegar! Look at all the new land that will form once this dries. All right, Fred and I hope that you guys had a great time and I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. I hope you had fun with Sanders Science. Don't forget, tomorrow is Spirit Friday. Please wear your favorite Rivers gear. Thank you for joining me for the morning announcements today. And remember, if any of your classmates miss the morning announcements, remind them they can always go watch them on our school's website. I hope you have a terrific Thursday.